Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, guys? Yeah, you guys here for the meeting? Hello. You know? Yeah, we are. We're here for the meeting. All right, let's go. Uh, this way. We are being led towards Think. the meeting ground right now. You guys have sound muted. Hey, boss. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, the, the Northern Alliance. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. So I, uh, I called y'all here in regards of, to the note y'all left. And uh, just wanted to clear a couple things up. I understand this is your uh, territory and whatnot. No. If you'd like it. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, this here, this here plot of land goes back uh, about two decades, actually. Uh, Mark over here, he's, he's, Mark over here, he, uh, He's he's uh he's standing up and sleeping, but he'll be back in a minute. But his family has owned these lands for about two decades now. He has a deed of you know ownership, ton of books up there by his uh his his grandfather and, and father before him. Really? Was he born? Oh, Mark over here was born over there in uh, Mississippi. And uh, his father came born here for oil. Well, guess what? If he wasn't born here, he did not own this land. So land is owned by Shannon Russians. So that is a lie. Not real. Well, see, he has a deed to the house. He bought it from Shannon Russians. Yeah, and you can he, make a deed. It isn't going to get you too far nowadays. Do you have any proof? Do you have the deed? Well, I understand that. It, see, I have a question yeah. for you. I don't care about deeds for whether or not you own this land. And why did you have clown masks? We had the clown masks because we were just... I mean, you, you must have saw all of our supplies, right? Yes, I did. All right, well, that should answer questions right there. We were just collecting everything. I mean, why do we have half the stuff we have? We were going to sort it out and trade it. I mean, we got we got stuff in there. I ain't never gonna use. We ain't never gonna use. We was gonna take it over to Starry Sabor and uh, trade it up. And you know, the clowns pay a lot of stuff. You know, they'll they'll pay a lot for the mask. And now, uh, now they're ruined. But I mean, if you don't want me doing business with the clowns and you have some sort of core with them, then I won't be doing no business with clowns. Simple as that. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, you know the association the clowns have with, you know, bad people. You can understand why we'd be a little skeptic seeing clown masks in your uh, your area. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I understand. I know what the clowns do. I just. I know they uh, will pay a lot for those masks. So we had a couple of them up here, and you know we were storing them away. And, and when we were gonna go do our trade route, which we do usually every Thursday. Uh, we would bring them into Starry and, and try and trade them off. And usually, usually clowns pay big, mu big, 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 you know, supplies for them. How long did you say you were doing this? Oh, we've been here for what a month now, boys. And uh, yeah, our boy uh, Mark right here, Mark right here. He's a uh, he, oh. he's been his family's had this thing for twenty years. Four? Yeah, yeah, my. My, uh, my father, uh, yeah, uh, Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, 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 uh, oh, he's doing this, this man, yeah, so, but, hello, 20 years now. Uh, hello, hello, 
I'll go talk uh, to him. Hello there. Are you part of the hello, meeting gentlemen. too? Hello, are you part of the uh, meeting? No, sir. Hey, then we'd really kindly ask you to leave. Sorry. You gotta be, uh, wait, before you leave, I just wanted to say I like your, uh, taste in headwear. Oh, wrong. oh thank you. Oh, wrong. well, uh, wrong finger, you, but... gentlemen, then. Oh, yeah, so if there's any way we could stay here, we would kindly appreciate it. I mean, we kind of say, as you can see, we kind of set this whole place up, and y'all ain't using it, as far as my knowledge. I mean, we've been here for about a month, and it's been dead empty. Got a couple of visitors, but not too many. First time I ever heard of y'all. We've been around for a while. I just want to uh, ask, was it just simply uh, where is it you trade? Well, uh, as you can see, if you want a tour, we can. I can show you. We do farming. Uh, we got a ton of meat. As you can see, this car, if you want to oh, go ahead and check it out. We do a hunting and whatnot. You can check out the car. It's got a ton of steak in there. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hey, you, you feel free to uh, feel free to take some. Uh, I understand I'm not supposed to be a, a part of this, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, may I ask... Uh, um, what you oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, uh, no, yeah. We'll start no, with the uh, just, we'll start with the big house real yeah, quick. Sorry, no. This is a very busy meeting, and we'd really kindly appreciate it if you now. From Turner, Turner, Turner. See, I, I'm not from Turner, Russia. You know, I'm not from Turner. I'm not, you know, I'm not Turner Russian. I got a couple Turner Russians yeah, that run around with the plantation, whatnot. Okay. But this house right here has been in uh, Mark's family for quite some time. You see, his dad was big oil, big oil guy. He came out here because he uh, struck oil about 20, 20, 30 miles off the coast of Chinaris and whatnot. And uh, they bought this big old house out here before the war started and whatnot. And they came out here and lived. This was his office. And, you know, he did all of his business in here. You can check out the books. They're all by the Acklands and whatnot. Very prestigious family in back in the States. Uh, he, did, uh, he did a lot of business here. And... Mr. Mark right here is a good friend of mine. We went to the same, uh, same, same Ivy League college, same high school. Grew up pretty much together, and uh, he, we split up. But uh, I actually found his plantation. He was talking about all these years back in uh, University of Pennsylvania is where I went. Um, but yeah, this is uh, so you've got like a lot of a lot of farming and everything um where's the work where's the workers for so, sorry yeah. i didn't hear you yeah. everyone here you know pulls their own weight yeah, yeah let yeah. me introduce yeah. you to a oh so, so you guys are the work force yourselves that's fine i just i was just uh curious yeah, yeah, we're bringing, we bring in called, some help. We've heard this place being called the plantation before. Right. Is that all yeah. accurate? Excuse me. Sir. Yes, this is the plantation. I'm the leader of the plantation, and so is uh, my friend Mark here. Now, I don't think you boys uh, might be not edge. I, I don't. I'm not going to call you dumb or anything. You know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Uh, you know, assert your education or whatnot. But uh, do you guys know what the plantation means? You know, do you know what the actual word plantation stands for? I know exactly what it stands for. That's why I asked you if this was a plantation. But what's it stand for then? It's a farm operated mostly by slave labor. Oh no no no! If if you if you find a dictionary sometime, you look up plantation. It's a self-sustainable community. That's a that's a dictionary definition of it. It is not you know slavery doesn't always have to be included. Now, uh, uh, hey, Will, where you at? These uh, pigeons. Will, come on out here. Dog. Now, uh, where's a, uh, where's a uh, Devin at? Anybody seen Devin? Oh, here's Devin right here. Now this is Devin. He does. He take care of all the farming. See, you got big old beautiful pumpkins ready for ripe. You boys hungry? You guys like pumpkin or anything? I could use a bite. That's no, fine. No, I'm fine. It looks like some of them spoiled. Yeah, yeah, it's been tough. I mean, you know, not everything goes according to plan and whatnot. 
water's kind of short. You know, we got raided a couple of days ago, and they took most of our supplies and uh, our water bottles and whatnot. So we've been trying to carry water back and forth, but, but it's been tough. You know, these these last two days. But uh, we usually we usually come in with a full right. We got four or five pumpkins that were good. Some of them would be rotten, just like in the old days, you know. But yeah, if you guys want to come on, uh, I'll show you some more. I assume all these uh, little houses are where your residents live? Oh, yes. Those are all little yeah. bunk houses. And uh, the town right down there, you know, right across the plantation, little tiny uh, community area, that's where we, we, a lot of them stay, too. One of our, uh, more of our offices and whatnot of the, of the plantation, higher-ups, you know. Uh, eventually, we're going to be keeping cattle up in here. We've been having a hard time rounding them up. They're, uh, they're pretty wild. we got to find some rope and, and whatnot, but... You know, the rope you find nowadays is so short, you got to tangle it all together, and we got to teach some people how to, you know, lasso some cattle and whatnot. But we're eventually going to have animals here. And here's our uh, prized uh, apples. These are our beautiful apple trees. Uh, they, they're the best apples, and I, I think it all the children here. How many people work the, uh, the field? Try one. Uh, usually about Five, six, maybe. I mean, in total, how many people do you have? Oh, in the, in our whole in our whole, uh, I'd say fifteen, sixteen, right now, growing every day. Some respectable number. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you have a respectful community as ourselves, I mean, we we offer solace, you know, from the from the. You know, you, I'm sure you boys know. You've been here a long time. You you understand the the hardships, uh, the hardships of out there and areas of Cabanino and Starry and Airfield and whatnot. We just, we know, we, we offer a solace, beautiful community, and that's what that's what we're about. Yeah, that's why we tend to uh, stick more to the north, away from those places. Yeah, yeah, we like to we like to be kind of like I guess the middleman, you know, like, you guys have the north and whatnot, and we're just, you know, we're, we're just right here in the middle, you know, airfield's right up that hill, and, and we like to, we like to offer people a place to stay, some clean water, you know, food. But, except you're not in the middle, you're in the north, north with us. Food. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's, I understand. The, that's the whole reason we've come here to talk to you be like let's not try and make something something else it's it's <laughs> yeah yeah i understand i understand but hey hey come on let me show you the shed real quick i'm sure you boys have already seen it but i'll show you where all the the magic happened i thought all the magic happens back there your award-winning apple cool. uh, magic's everywhere Not like Disney World, then. Sound resumed. You have been to Disney World? Confirm, are a few times, actually. Once with one my, uh, uh, last... Yeah, beautiful play. Uh, are you with the meeting? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. You guys might have to hop over yeah. that. Yeah, I never, I never actually got to go. Yeah. 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 Hey, listen up, if you got... Yeah, I, I worked most of my life. Uh, I never really had the luxury of uh, going anywhere. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I did. Uh, my father was a rich man, but he uh, he always uh, respected uh, to right. earn. To earn, you must work. Am I allowed to kind of uh, look That's kind of how we run yeah. the community around here. Yeah, yeah go ahead. You come here and... We 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 uh you know we we'll give you a place to stay, give you food in your stomach, and you know you uh, <laughs> you help around the community, you know, you know, do your part. Yeah, exactly. We don't, you know, we don't really really work for free, you know. We offer solace and whatnot to the people if they're willing to, you know, help us out, and that's what makes community a community. 
Yeah. You do realize you how close to... you are to Northwest Airfield with the uh, compounds here, right? Mm. Yeah, 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 I understand. Uh, usually we don't get too many visitors, though, so, uh, I mean, we've been here for a month, and I've only seen, what, five, six people come by out of just, you know, out of pure randomness. They just come on by and they say, oh, what the hell is this? And I'm like, well, this is Plantation. Nice to meet you. And, you know, now now, now more people know about it, obviously, you know, for you guys. But, but yeah, yeah, uh, we're really close. Yeah, we don't. So, uh, do you recognize the um, the kingdom's borders? Or do you even know what the kingdom is? Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I did miss the court, so I, I did not see the quarters, but uh, the borders or whatever. But uh, yes, I do understand what the kingdom is. I, I, I am, I am allied with them, and uh, we do provide with them with buses and, and vehicles and, and whatnot. Yeah, so you so, call um, yourself allies with the uh, with the kingdom. So uh, yeah. under kingdom law, you must understand that. A decree from Joffrey when there be uh, territorial disputes either we talk them out right now or we fight each other like that is the decree of Joffrey I, I'm just hoping you understand oh yeah really I understand, understand. Are they? Uh, well you know I, you really got me in a, in a I mean I'm, I'm willing to talk it out if you are I mean I would love sure. to keep oh place. yeah and, and that's that's why we're here we um we're yeah. not going we're not bloodthirsty we don't seek to um you know cut down people and what they're doing we just oh yes to, yes uh, yes yeah we intend but, to talk out all of our disputes instead of uh, choosing each other useless death. I agree especially I with agree the, with that. Uh, especially with a community like this I mean you're doing so much good helping out the uh, the poor survivors yeah. hate for that to come to an end. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're all, I mean, this is pretty much the safest place in, in in the north besides, I mean, I don't know where you guys are, but I guess, you know, maybe this is the second safest place in the north, uh, in my in my opinion, at least. <laughs> so, uh... So is this the this is the end of the tour? I take it. Oh yes, yes. Sorry, I I thought you guys were gonna say something. Here, here, come on back to the big house. We'll uh we'll talk over uh, we'll talk over you know negotiations and whatnot. Yeah, of course. Sorry, I do not like intruders. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, uh, I I think I see you. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I think yeah, I think I think your guy's on top of him right now. Oh, it might be. Me. Hey guys, uh, we didn't really get a good sight on them. Do you know which uh, which way you saw them? Yeah, yeah, they're they're right there in the tree line. They got a bushman. Uh, just. Here, you see the, uh, I can't really describe it, here. Uh, Mark, you mind going back to the plantation with them? I'll go, I'll go up there and, and figure out what the hell's going mm -hmm. All right. Hey, yo, Rob, he's probably those uh, other... I have no idea what the fuck is going on today. It all seems to be getting very popular recently. I think this commercial is yeah. a full horn uh, Yeah, I have no idea what in the world. As soon as I come back down, shit, they were like, oh, no one's been here for like a month. No one's the next thing you know, you got ever people everywhere. So, what do you uh, what do you find, gentlemen? You know, stand for? You know, like I said, I, I'm uh, I haven't been around lately. 
I just got back home. You guys, uh... uh create something different that you normally find down south. Just trying to refuel. Something about, like, uh... uh regulations, or... Uh, like, like... Law? I think, uh... I think I think Alan wants his MP5. Uh, 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 meet me in front of the mansion. Slave traders. And all that you find down south. Uh, 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 yeah, that's a uh, very understandable. That's uh, nothing what we want around here. It's nothing we are part about either. That's good. good. Never would want to have a slave trader trader in my area. Well, our area. I don't think I ever got your name. At least I don't recall. Oh, oh, I thought they said my name already. Uh, my name is Mark. Mark Ackley. My father was John Ackley, and he's a fine owner of this property. Well, was, yeah. I think I... Your father was owner of this property? Okay. Alright, you did say that. Are you alright? Has anybody seen Mark? Has he came back here yet? Uh, he's, he's over there. Okay. <laughs> we'll get back to farming. What are you doing? But it's all. Sorry about that, gentlemen. Uh, some some joke up there. Thinks he can uh, tell tell us what to do and your man what to do. He's just. He's acting Wait, like he has a position of authority right now. Look through the tents for my yeah. but we told him to, we told him buzz off though. There's uh, some private, so private uh, conversation uh, going on here, and he started getting all mad and told him to go one way. Now he's going another way. So I got my, uh, I got my guys in your bush, man, up there. Just chasing him down, telling him to make sure he goes, he goes the opposite way, because it looks like he was heading up, you know, to that field. Yeah, probably just the big field to cross. Uh, where did Mark go? Uh, um, I think I'm not too sure. I think he went to go to the toilet or something like that. Sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Well, uh, gotcha. All right. If you guys want to follow me, we'll just continue. Old Mark can catch up. You say you trade um, buses with the kingdom every few weeks. I mean, every few days. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We uh, there's a man in all black. Oh, you know, all high capacity uh, vest, black, black uh, baseball cap, and whatnot. He always comes and picks them up. Ah, oh, shit, I can't remember his name. Let me, let me think real quick. Maybe I'll remember it. But uh, he comes over and picks them up. We also know House Renegade. Uh. 
I kind of stepped in their uh, way a little bit, but uh, I kind of uh, learned my lesson there. Did you into Cabernino? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, I kind of back talked one of the one of the boys because I kept they they kept harassing me and my men, and I just said, well, look, you know, I, I'm I give plenty of supplies of the kingdom and whatnot, and I don't understand why y'all are. Uh, Y'all all down my neck all the time with me and my boys, and and he 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 didn't take too uh, kindly to that, and then uh, yeah, he sort of took me hostage and whatnot, tied me up, and uh, I learned my lesson from there on out. I I guess I got to learn my place in this world, you know. Yeah, we all all do. So we're here to finally uh, talk business between your. Uh, your property and the Northern Alliance claims. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me get a uh, let me take off my bandana real quick. I shall do the same. It's hard to talk with this. Uh, I didn't even catch your catch your boy's name. My name's Rob Sly. I'm Rafa. Nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you too. And uh, you. I'm Stratic. Stratic, nice to meet you. And Is that one of your friends you can... up on the hill? Oh, uh, yeah. which hill? To the to the right, then if it, yeah, if he's a bushman, he's mine. I got a couple bushmen up there. We have a couple bushmen also. I mean, yeah, yeah, I met I met one. He seemed like a pretty nice fella. I mean, you know, are really nice fellas, honestly. Especially that one Bushman, I forgot his name. Uh, Mikhail, he's a nice. Yeah, yeah. Mikhail is not with the building. Nathan? Anymore. You, you gonna knock up. or something? Sorry about that, right? Sorry. Put your gun away. What are you doing? <laughs> Do there we go. We're talking about business. You only have a weapon out. Now let's get down to business. What do you boys propose? You guys already know my uh, viewpoint on this whole situation. Well, we appreciate well, what uh, you're doing here, helping out survivors. This claim still belongs to the Northern Alliance. And we haven't had many... Uh... There's two ways I, I see this can go. Um, we can work out... Um, you know, kind of an oath of fealty. You, know, you might say oath of oath of allegiance, whatever you want to fucking call it. To us, um, knowing that if in the case of any attack, that you are a part of the Northern Alliance and you will support the Northern Alliance, or we can take this to the kingdom, and uh, we can. Oh, there's three things. We can either take it to the kingdom and we can do one of their fights, or um, we can just, I guess, I don't know, burn everything down. We don't really want to do that because, as, as we've said, we think what you're doing here is actually quite respectable. You know, helping survivors and all of that. But I guess they're the three kind of avenues of, uh, of, um, of diplomacy, really. Um, of course, you could leave. Uh, that's the fourth. But I don't see, I, I really don't see you guys doing that. Um, so I, I, I think I would prefer the first one. Uh, I don't really like killing people, as, as we've said, that uh, humans are the most dangerous thing here, and I think um, you know, the more deaths we can prevent will be uh, better for both sides. So... Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, I understand your full methods of, of uh, diplomacy and whatnot. Uh, oh, it's sniper. <laughs> oh, I am I Shit, you took your sweet time. Looks like you're no longer in charge here, Luca. You sure you um, that watch? <laughs> ah, you must be the one they've been talking about. Oh, so, oh, yeah. You came in a good time. Just about <clears throat> nice to meet you. I'm uh, Rob, Rob Fly. Hi. Your boy here, uh, go ahead. 
it. Oh, I was oh, gonna... Nah, nah. Oh, oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Oh, well, your boy here was talking about uh, the four uh, methods of negotiation. Uh, we yeah. uh, swear well, our allegiance to you and uh, whatnot. And the uh, number two is uh, we take it to the kingdom and fight it out. And number three, you burn this place down before we leave. And uh, I, I, me and my me and my two uh, closest men are gonna have to talk to it and whatnot. You know, this is Mark's Mark's land. I think. We're gonna have to talk together real quick. If you could just give us like three minutes, you know, we could talk it over in private and uh, figure out what we want to do. Uh, of course. Well, first of all, I don't think I'd like to burn your place down. It's not uh, uh, within an avenue of possibility at this time. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I wouldn't like that either. I'm sure my father wouldn't like that. I mean, and I'm sure we don't, don't want to end up dead on your... both sides either. Uh, I don't mean to force your hand, but it looks like a kind of help, allegiance, we make a deal, or you leave. It's two options, very simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. I mean, we were just going to talk about that. and I mean, if you want me to make a decision well, right we'll, now, that, you know, three minutes... We'll, have, we'll, we'll lead you to discuss. Leave you alone to talk it out. All right, awesome. Uh, just three minutes is all we need, really. That's the call. Well, boys, it uh, looks like we are at a uh, kind of a no-brainer here. I think we should probably swear allegiance to him. I mean, we can we could probably benefit from a trade route between the both of us and whatnot. I mean, we got all these supplies. We're not getting them out too fast. It's taking up a bunch of room. What are your thoughts, Mark? Uh, I mean... Uh... I don't uh yeah, I, I don't see the problem uh doing business with these men or swearing our allegiance or whatever. I mean, as you said they are kingdom men as well, so I mean I don't see the the problem in this. And if they can provide protection and we can do for the same for them and we helping each other out, then I think that we would be obliged by the rules like of our own plantation as well. It seems like they're more onto me. Yeah, yeah, I'd, uh, yeah. I'd, 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 it might it might stop these uh, recent little tiny bandits, you know, coming through here trying to steal our stuff. It might have to stop killing killing them. I, mean, I don't like you know killing them bandits as much as the next person, you know. And, well, I mean, you they know. seem uh, you know like decent gentlemen, and I don't want us, you know, I don't want you know. And if there was a fight between us, I'm sure that. It would end up in bloodshed on both sides, and we don't need that. Nobody needs to die. This is a community, as we say, a plantation, and we're helping each other out. No one needs to die over some misunderstanding or an argument that could just be solved by just helping each other out in the end. Uh, yeah, 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 I agree. My what about you, Nathan? What's your... My biggest concern is that this is... It's not just a one-way street, but the street goes both ways and with this alliance. I hope they can, if we help them, they'll help us. Goes to the old thing, if I scratch your, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Same. I agree. All right, well, you boys, uh, I think we come to agreement. I think we're going to have to go with option one. What do you think? Everybody agree? Yeah. I'm in agreement on this one. All right. Uh, are we, uh, are we understand? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, Nathan, you you agree? I guess I agree. All right. Well. Okay. Let's call him back. Uh, boys, we're, we're ready for you. Get them. No, nah, I can just yell out the window. This thing ain't got no. This thing ain't got no glass. Boss. Go ahead, open the door for him, though. Right. 
right, all right. Come to a decision. Yeah, I think we're. Uh, I think we're going to go with uh, option one. I think we would benefit from a an alliance with with you guys. You guys seem like a pretty outfitted group, and uh, I think we could provide food and whatnot. I see. All right. Well, well, we can agree to a trade deal. It's just a few things we want to. Let's say I announce. We've. Uh, I've heard a few rumors, a few things we, we uh, want to talk about. Yeah. I, I, I'm just, I'm just All right, let's... Uh, thing, man. Hang on, hang on. Will, shut up. I'm trying to talk. Sorry. Uh, now, uh, yeah, go ahead and... Uh, what, what, what do we got going on? There is uh, we are I'm willing to... Uh, to yeah, there's something I want to just talk to you about. So, um... <clears throat> We have heard of uh, slave traders living up north, and uh, we did have someone from the uh, Northern Alliance who claimed they were taken as a slave to work on a farm. Uh, quite coincidentally, it happened to be within this area. Um, uh, we we don't really take any slaves, as we were saying earlier. Uh, with uh, how would you word this correctly? Uh, See, if people need solace and food and whatnot and, and, and shelter and, and they're expected to do their fair share of work and, and whatnot, we don't really take slaves. I mean, you would see people working on here ruthlessly and whatnot, but they're given food, they're given water, they're given shelter, and they're given safety from the outside world, but that's really about it. I mean, we ain't got no well, slave taking consent. here. consent. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of them. I mean, the only people we really take as slaves, as you would quote, are the bad people of Janaris. I mean, we've taken a clown as a slave. We've taken a, uh, we've taken a uh, who else? Uh, shit, what's that? The word, group, the uh, word he's looking for, gentlemen, is rehabilitate. You know, we are trying yeah, to Yeah, exactly. That. There's some, you know, people out there that don't know a thing about how to act in this world or how things are now and provide a, how to provide for a community or provide for anyone that's acting except themselves and just take, take, take. And there's only so much stuff you can take in this world before it's all mm -hmm. gone. So, so we go... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, can I just stop you there for a second? Sorry. Um, you said that you are somewhat friendly with the clowns. You know, you, 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 um, you've you met a couple of their members, uh, I believe, one of your, your, your business associate uh, uh, was Mima. saying, yet you, Mima, you so have I taken have one no of them idea. as who these people are. Yeah, yeah, Mark, let me let me go ahead and take care of this. You remember when I told you that, uh, you remember when I told you that, you know, they, they took one of my boys and cut his, cut his shit off and, you know, killed him and whatnot? Uh, remember how I whispered yeah, yeah. to one of your boys that uh, I, yeah, I, took yeah, him, I, yeah. I took him as a slave and I made him do a bunch of work and then I skinned him alive right there in that red red shed. Yeah. So yeah, I took a clan as a slave and after that they came up to me and they were like, well, goddamn, you're crazy. And, and then we started a trade route. Uh -huh. So in your eyes, those need to be rehabilitated. Much, well, they res they, exactly? th this sounds crazy, but they respect they respect they respect that kind of stuff, you know. Mm. Like <laughs> they the, the crazy. last kingdom meeting, they asked if they could put party hats on fucking zombies. Um, honestly, yeah, see, any you, dealings you with them is quite uh, uh, quite. Damn. So skinning their man who killed more of my men was sending them a message saying, "Hey, look, I'm not to be fucked with." And that that that's that's how they took it. They didn't they didn't take it in a way of uh, oh uh, we're gonna go to war with the plantation and we're gonna do this. We're gonna. I said, hey look, I got a lot of clown masks. Y'all can come to agreement. They're yours. And that's what happened. So yeah yeah, I took a, a clown as a slave and I killed him afterwards. And what what of it? And other than that, I mean the slaves that we take. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it for you. The slaves that we take are the bad people of Chinaris, the people that need to rehab, rehab, be rehabilitated. So what would they, as Mark here said. In your eyes, they need to be rehabilitated. 
Oh, well, you know, we make them go through rigorous work. I mean, we got a community here. As You know, you know the buses I was talking about. We make them wash the buses. Uh, they do uh, our laundry. We got a bucket out there like a... No, no, not like a prison or anything, no. Oh, uh, oh it, I mean, it's multiple. usually, uh, you know, a uh, robbery for one. I mean, there's multiple robberies that happened here, and we've got the, you know, we caught them when they did it, and, you know, we could have killed them right then, but we didn't, you know. We, uh, we took them in, and we put different clothes on them, and we had them work right here, let them know, you know. You know, if you work for some, you're gonna get it. You don't go around and scat. Let me give yeah. you an example uh, of, a, uh, of a of a slave. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, what what do your slaves um wears uh, identification? Uh, just in case we come across one of them. You know, and we any know any kind of they might be we have a bad. Uh, a boss. Yeah. Boss. Hey, just will up as one of them and then bring them to you? Uh, no, we no, no, that's uh, fine. We don't need to do all that. Uh, we got, we got, we have uniforms. We have prisoner uniforms, so. Oh, okay. well, I mean, if you want to, go ahead, dress Will up. I don't care, but basically anything between, you know, just really shitty clothing and prison uniform. Basically, let me tell you, let me walk you in in a day of a slave, as quotations would put it. Uh, See, we we have people go across all of you know Starry, Cabanino, Novi, Airfield, and whatnot. We have all the hunters, is what we call them. We have them ask questions. And, you know, if they've been robbed by somebody, we get a description of them, and uh, we have our hunters go and hunt them down like a pack of wolves. And uh, we bring them back here, and we strip them down, and we call the uh, call the 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 person who they robbed, right? When the person who they rob come over here, the person gets all their uh, belongings back and some. We put the rest inside of a, a little barrel or something, lock it tight. And we have uh, we have them do a bunch of chores around the plantation for a couple of days. And, you know, once we figure they're uh, good to go, we give them the stuff back. We think they're rehabilitated, and they, uh, they're on their way. And, and hopefully they never rob again. And they'll come. I'll tell them they'll end, they'll end up back on this plantation, just not a, uh, not as good as they uh, came in. You know, not as good as this time. It's going to be a little bit worse. So, so we have to tell them so, so if you want to do part of an alliance or certain things, we don't want you to do naturally. In my view, taking bad guy slaves is a group, uh, I think other groups have done. Like, there was once a group called Sabor, they used to rehabilitate okay. people in a camp, just the same. And, well, I can't say I disagree with them, but some of their methods were less than humane. Now, from oh, that we say... Not... Yeah. Of course, I don't you expect don't, uh... them to be like that. They were a different kind of people. We don't go around, you know, like, these people, I've been here about going around mocking people and carving them up or hurting them. Now, I, I always, uh, my father always taught me hey, uh, hum yeah, humility, humility kind of situation. Yeah. Hurting a man's pride and ego would go a long way in changing it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to go around carving people up or anything. I'm just going to make them grow some tomatoes or wash a bus or a car or wash my underwear, you know. Hey, boss. It's just it's just little things like that. It humiliates somebody, and they won't, they'll won't. they think twice about robbing the next victim. You know, they'll have less victims in Chinaris of robbery and, 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 and whatever they else they do. I mean. I mean, I'm, right? I'm, not, I'm not I'm not like a crazy person. I I mean I skinned a clown once, but that's about it. That's all I've ever done. Well, personally, I am fine with that. We go out there every day and we we're bringing back people. You know, we uh, we have this is the uh, this is the uniform of the plantation well, workers that are, are uh, as you would say, slaves. Now, Will here, uh, that, Will here is a direct, Will. oh, that's Devin, no, what the hell, yeah, Will? where's Will at? I don't know where Will is, no one knows where Will is. Alright, well, 
Never mind. This is this is Devin, our uh, director of farming. Oh, Will. Coming. Will Will right, was well. a slave, and uh, and uh, you can ask. I mean, you can ask him directly how how uh, he's been treated since I, uh, you know, sort of uh, acquired him. Would you say now, Will? What, what would you what would you think of me, and what would you think of how I treat the others that come on the um, plantation? Uh, it was, you gave me, may, well, personally, you gave me many privileges, like, for example, allowing me to, uh, hold a gun, not just any gun, but you allowed me to hold, uh, high-powered rifles on me, with, and you trusted me, the biggest yeah, privilege. That's all you had to shoot him, didn't trust. You? Yeah. Nah, do you, uh... And you, how do, how would you say I, we treated the other fellas that come on the plantation, like those guys that were washing the bus the other day, those guys that robbed a couple people? Well, they, you see, they didn't get as many privileges because they didn't deserve them. They were bad people, you know? Mm -hmm. I could go on for a long time. Did we, did we lay a, you know... We didn't harm them did we, in no way. Did we, never, did we hit them or anything? Never. No, no, never. Oh. Um, the uh, pain uh, well, can only sorry, go gentlemen. so far. Um, I'm going to have to take my leave. It's uh, been very interesting um, talking to you, I'm sure. Uh, my two associates will happily uh, finish the uh, conversation, but uh, uh, yeah. I'll probably see you. All right, yeah. Uh, it was a it was a pleasure meeting you. As see you around. Well, yeah, we uh we never really uh never really lay a hand on anybody. We just humiliate them. I mean, that's that's really that's really what we do. I mean, other than that, I mean, that's that's like ten percent of what we do here. I mean, we don't, you don't see us taking slaves all the time. You see, Will and Devin and all our boys working out in the fields and. We got our hunters looking out for the populace in the areas, you know, where more uh, uh, high crime, would you say, happens. Uh, they're making sure shit stays in check, and if it's not, then we all get deployed out there, and we bring them back, and they do uh, they do a lot here. And it's the only reason why you see that, that supply of cash out there, you know? All right, well. Look, we agree to this. We have, I personally have no problem with that kind of thing, if you are telling the truth. But, but trading with people like the kingdom, the masquerade, bad people, we don't agree to that. That's going to be one of our terms that would have to cease if you want to be allied with us. You, uh, you have a problem with the, the kingdom? Sorry, no, we don't I, have a problem like with I, anyone. Like I, Oh, like I said, I, I just got uh, I just got back home, so, so I'm just learning about these uh, settlements or groups of people that uh, it's kind of mind bond. Yeah, it is. But great. we we have, we have no problem with some people, but it's to be one of our terms. If you wish to join, we'd like to. We offer. We can trade with anyone. We're not particularly bothered, but people like clowns, bad guys, torturers, kingdom, crusaders, people we don't want you trading with. Yeah, that's a, I mean, that, that's, I guess that sounds good to me. I mean, you just give me a list of who you, or an exact list of who you don't want us trading with, and we'll make that happen. I mean, I don't, we're not going to really lose anything. I mean, like I said, the plantation is more about being a self-sustainable community. What was that? Where are we going to get our photos from? Well, I guess we're just going to have to work harder. We're going to have to go find it. We're going to have to produce it ourselves. I don't know. Whenever you take a shit and put it in a bucket and, and put it somewhere, I don't know, put it in a barrel. But, uh... Sounds like a will job. I mean, uh... But, I'd rather this be happening now, you know... Is, uh, no, this I, I understand. I'm not by, saying uh, trade with uh, two two people or two groups or whatnot, and then uh, you know, be able to say where we're at, you know, and no bloodshed, no no gunfire, no no 
Uh, you boys that, happen to have a uh, stockpile of fertilizer somewhere, or easy access to it. We have some things, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then I mean, I, I can do that. With, I can. You give me a list of who you don't want to trade with, and we'll make it happen. Consider that done. All right. Nothing else that uh, Stanek wants to say about the terms, and I are in agreement. Sounds fine. All right, uh, Mark. You want anything out of this agreement? I mean, uh. You know everything sounds about uh sounds about right. And uh, as long as I, as long as we get to stay here and I you know, and we can help each other out, then uh I feel that the agreement is uh, solid. Uh, Nathan, you you can think of anything? Yeah. Uh, off the top of my head. No. What uh, what request do you have, good sir? You know, of course. Yeah, no problem. Seems fun. I uh, have no problem with that. I, we are not ashamed of what we do here. Nothing to hide either. As we say, we uh, it's not like we take you know somebody uh, randomly off the road and bring them back here, or, you know, or take somebody just rob somebody automatically. We uh, we gather our information. Uh, we make sure we have the right person, and we make sure we have the right amount of people to do so. And then when we bring it back here, then we, you know, we let them know that what they were doing and what they have done was wrong. And then every, you know, and what they did wrong has a punishment. Not a punishment, well, you know, to do it shows and whatnot. And uh, we find other things for them to, uh, you know, as they are, Paying their debt to society, as they would say. If they're doing that, they, they're helping the community along as well. So it's a win-win situation. Wash them, yeah, believe me, washing my socks is, is enough to get any man to turn good. I remember this one guy, we uh, we made him wash uh, underwear. The whole, the whole crew's underwear. That was, mm -hmm, uh, just the other day. He, he said he would... Uh, and he hasn't came back here since. And we've been keeping tabs on him, and he, as much as I know, he hasn't been doing anything. Hmm. I'll also bring the, uh, I'll even one-up it for you. The When we take a slave, I'll bring you the victim that that slave, uh, you know, ma ma you know, victimized. He can tell you what he did, and, and we'll, uh, We'll go ahead and uh, show you, you know, our process and whatnot. Uh, that way you can uh, get reassured on my stories of how we take them and whatnot. Yeah, no worries, obviously. Uh... Now, we're not, now, we're not not, to, you know, we're not not or anything like that. You know, they may be yelling, they may be screaming, but there, there, there will be no harm. Like, we, we don't, we don't hit them. Right? No, there's no harm done to the body. That is, uh, I don't see no necessary for that. It's, you, uh, you have to uh, strain the mind and the body, and their mind before their body. My father always, you know, you have to uh, break the mind. You have to break the mind of the man's mind. Mm -hmm. so what he used to always say. By doing that, uh, he always, you know, that's how I learned how to respect. Uh, individuals that had less than I ever had because my father put me there. I remember many times I had to work the fields with the hit the workers that he hired in the fields. I had to do hay, I had to go out and plant uh, whatever was needed to plant that year. We I worked the fields, worked the machinery. 
you know, we were wealthy. I didn't need to do any of that. But you know, I I think I thank the Lord and I thank my father for all the discipline and all the punishment he put me through, because it made me a better man and a businessman at that. To understand where the 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 low one, the low people, and what people what people have to go through to make it in life. That's what uh, yeah. that's what we're trying to do here. Let's bring a little bit of home back here. Yeah, I do agree. Uh, again, with the the words of wisdom. But uh, I think uh, I think we can value I think we can value this trade deal and uh, and alliance and whatnot. And you boys, uh, I'll give you our private radio frequency. And uh, basically, how we'll do this is you send us trade orders and whatnot. You know, like a, like how uh, you would say in the old world, a purchase order. You would send it to us, and uh, we'll have it ready for you by a set a set date. You come pick it up, and uh, we'll tell we'll tell you what we need and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that's about, that's how about we do it. And he is all, he is all private free. Sound resume. Let me know. Sound muted. But, uh. You okay with that? Oh, good. Right. Well, I'm glad we could have uh, come to a deal, Mr. Alley. And you, yeah. Now, uh, I'm sure, Mark, you're a man of handshakes. Go ahead and, uh, the deal, Mr. Mark. Yes, I do agree. It is, uh, it is official. Yes, it is. Uh, I'll inform the rest of the guys here after they uh, roll out. We are not to trade the kingdom clowns and anybody else you send us list of. Uh, next time one of us take a slave, you got to go uh, get on their frequency and tell them. We got to bring the uh, victim too. I mean, I don't remember the last time we, we took one. I think it was a couple of days mm -hmm. ago in the Northwest. Man, those guys like, were robbing that poor fellow. Yeah, 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 I remember that. It was two, two days ago, I think. Like, right when you got here. Oh yes, yes. We're gonna be moving. We're gonna be moving it. Uh, a couple of, a couple of bandits came by. We killed most of them, and uh, uh, well, you know, they know where they got. Some of them got away. They know where our supply cache is. So we're gonna be moving it here soon. At least a couple tents. You can put the, the less, you know, the fertilizer and whatnot in those in that supply stash over there. But the more uh, sensitive uh, supplies like ammunition and whatnot. We're gonna have a special place for it, so I'll uh, keep you informed on that. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you uh, you have no reason to uh, distrust us. Uh, we will definitely uh, contact you when when we have uh, another slave. But anytime you want to stop on in, uh, just you know, come on in. I mean, we're all usually most of us are always here. Uh, the hunters are out there in random areas in Chinaris, but the farmers and and, and whatnot are always here. Yeah, if we're, uh, if we're not around, we're not, I mean, we're usually, uh, not far. Yeah, 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 we're always around. Just give us a little call or whatnot, and uh, we'll, we'll be here. Anytime you need anything, you let me know. Likewise. Uh, 
Sounds good. Uh, we will uh, we'll be in touch, and we'll be at your meetings. Supply you guys with some apples for the the tavern. We'll uh, fresh pick them. Every Yeah, we'll uh, we'll bring some uh, nice apples. My my mother loved those apples out there. That's where uh, exceptional. She made the best apples. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here's one for uh, here's one for you boys and uh, for a road trip. Yeah, we've uh, as much as I know of, we've uh, we've had contact with the gun runners before. Oh yeah, yeah. They are bad to you guys too. Yeah, we we we've, we've come in contact them. Uh, what are they? They, I mean, I just know they they grab guns from Mishkino or whatnot. That's all I really know. Ah, I got you. So I can probably get you guys in a uh, contact with them. I know they do operate in the north somewhere, but it's, I, I heard they just mainly set up shop in the Mishkino area. But I think there are supply areas in the north. But yeah, I'll let you know if I can get you guys a, a meeting with them. I, I I think I have their radio frequency laying around here in one of these uh, bookshelves. All right, well, nice to meet you, Alex, and uh, you have yourself a great night. You too, Stratic.